So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. It's about damn time. Woo! Good morning, Drago! What's happening? Well, we finally done it. It's finally happened! It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one, we're off to the hive. It's Barnet for Hartlepool United in the Vanarama National League. <laughs> oh, that hurt. So after 47 years, we're finally out of the EU. Good old Boris and Farage getting the deal over the line. Well, we're gonna wave you goodbye and we'll look forward in the future to working with you. <laughs> That's it, it's all over, finished. That, that wasn't the tip. Oh, well, I don't need this anymore, then do I? <sighs> so with the transfer window closed, not like it affects us being on league, but we managed to bring in two players. Xander McBurney, a centre mid, and Paul McCallum, a forward. It's only six months late, but a bit late than ever, I guess. Jack Barham moved on as well as Jack Taylor. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. What else has happened? Well, I got suspended on Twitter. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did say I was going to be sent to Belmars very, very soon. Mr. Foreman, how say you? Guilty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! It's okay. I've managed to get myself a new Twitter account just before I get banged up. So I can tweet call first before he blocks me again. Wait, what? Oh, I've I've now been unsuspended from Twitter. Well, fan dabby dozy. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I am going to remind you in advance that I am very sorry and I apologize for the inconvenience of me not giving a fuck what you think. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. It's in football news! So Hartlepool currently sit 11 after 32 games, winning 11, drawing 11, losing 10, scoring 48, conceding 45, giving them a golden to plus three, and they're currently on 44 points. And the last five games have been two wins, one loss, and two draws. <laughs> Dave Chananor is now in charge, and he's now taken 17 games, winning six, drawing six, losing five, giving a winning percentage of 35.29. <laughs> Number 23, Guyam Torre, who has 12 goals and three assists in 31 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. The 16th of the 3rd, 2019. Barnet, nil. Hartlepool United, nil. Don't need me to go on about that, do you? So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Hartlepool United. Thinking you're big boys. Playing in the playoff final for League One. Only for you to lose it. To then be relegated to League Two not long after. Know your place, you bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. <laughs> Starting lineup for Barnet today in a 3 5 2. Loach in goal. Your free centre arse of Dan Sweeney. Cannon Reynolds and Elliot Johnson. Shay Alexander's your right wing back. David Thomas is your left wing back. Two centre mids. Charlie Adams and Captain James Dunn. Maro Valletti in the number 10 role. And up front, Shimon Nakanoda and Josh Walker. And this is our Hartlepool United lineup in a 4 4 2. 20 in, currently 0 0. Nothing that's gone on. A couple of back and forth by both sides. Neither keepers had anything to do. Both are standing in their goal. Smoking a fag. Half hour in, still currently 0 0. We have a stalemate. Both 
Both teams struggle to break each other down. Still no shots on target. Both teams are trying to play football and pass it around. Hartley Paul looked very confident, playing it around on the edge of their area. We just need to press a bit more. Got to force the panic on them. Five to the half, still nil-nil. Not much has changed for me to say anything about how this game's gone. Two minutes before the half, and there you go. First dangerous tackle of the game. With Hartley Paul with the ball in across the goal line. Any deflection, that's in the back of the net. Everyone just standing there watching it rolled along, and we got away with that one. Our time here at the Hive, it's Barnet nil, it's Hollywood United nil. Not the most entertaining of first 45 minutes, but both teams are in it. Neither team's created a lot to break teams down. Stalemate, both teams playing football, which is nice to see. Nil nil, neither one of us out of it, and it can swing either way in that second half. So I'm not too disappointed. We've been caught offside far too many times in this first 45, six, seven times. Either Hartlepool's line is spot on every time, or we're not using our brain and dropping to get them runs, getting behind them. Let's see what the second half brings. Anything in that one? Come on, Barnet. Two minutes into the second half, there's been no goal. A hardly put United and now down to 10 men. Poulahan, second yellow, foul on Valletti as he's running through just on the edge of the area. It remembers a few seasons back now when Hartley Paul went down to 10 men, eh? Enter Sean Batts. Elliot Johnson takes the free kick straight into the keeper's hands, but it's a shot on target. 60 minutes in, it's still nil nil. Got a free kick on the edge of the area, right on the corner. Sim steps up, he's smashed it. It's beat the keeper, is it the barn bounce back out? Those are bodies in the Away, bounced around, shares a shot, hits bodies, went for a corner, then nothing came of that. Yes, he did! Yeah! It's only taken six months, but he's finally here and he scored on his debut! 64 minutes in, Barnet one, Hollypool United nil. Paul McCullum has put us one nil up. Corner from Elliot Johnson, bounced around with bodies. It's just rolled off his shin and gone in. We'll take that. 20 minutes ago, we still lead one nil. We should be two nil up. Shane whips the ball into the back post. Swinney brings down nicely. Plays through to the Tonda. Puts the ball along the goal line. Gets the Sims feet. Sim, you've missed an open goal. Hartlepool United clear one off the line. 74 minutes in, Barnet one, Hartlepool United one. An own goal by Dan Sweeney. Hartlepool United whip the ball in, Sweeney's gone for the header, skimmed off and gone into the back of the net, no one knew nothing about that, it's unlucky, you're wearing too much hair gel, it slipped off it, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah! 10 minutes of normal time to go, it's Barnet 2, it's Hartlepool United 1, we've whipped a ball in pretty much on the halfway line, all the way to the back post, McCullum brings it down, plays the ball into the box, it's on the plate for Akinoda, he can't miss and he scores this time. Into 90th, we still lead 2-1, just added on 4 minutes. So the game finished Barnet 2, Hartlepool United 1. If we just brush off the first 45 minutes, with both keepers managed to smoke 40 bents and then edges each, and where we was offside about 400 million times, the game only really changed when Hartlepool went down to 10 men. It was there for us to take it and open it up. McCullough made a difference with a goal and assist as soon as he came on. Should have just joined us at the beginning of the season, mate, instead of calling us time wasters. If the game finished with 11 men each, who knows what would have happened. But then if my auntie had bollocks, she'd be my uncle. We did our job on a day, but it's still a long way to go. That's us now unbeaten in 11, going into the trophy game at home to Barra next. Well done, Barnet Football Club. Let's keep this up. You know what to do. Ta-la. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly.